Hello, my most dearest of darlings, and welcome to another Wellness Wednesday. So today we're going to talk about one of my favorite ways to move our bodies, which is through dance. Now, some of you just got really excited, and some of you went, oh god, no. Don't worry, it's going to be fun. <laughs> the dance that we're going to talk about today is hula dancing. When I was a teenager, Hula dancing was one of my favorite things in the world to do. I did it almost every day. But I'm not going to teach you how to hula because I'm not a hula teacher and hula is not my dance to teach. But what we are going to talk about is one of my favorite parts of hula, which is using our bodies to tell a story. So most of you probably know what hula dancing is. You've seen it on TV or in film, or maybe you've seen it in real life. And you've probably noticed that hula dancers are constantly moving your arms, okay? You might see their arms here, or here, or down here. Maybe you've seen them here with a very famous palm tree. And every single one of those movements is telling a story about something that happened in nature. I might be talking about the sun rising and setting. I might be talking about the moon in the sky. I might be talking about going to visit a cliff or a mountain. Every single one of those movements is talking about a piece of nature. It's using our bodies to tell a story about natural things whether it's rain, or waves in the sea, or a palm tree waving in the breeze. And that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna think about how to depict things that we see in nature with our bodies. So the first thing we're all gonna do is we're gonna do our palm tree. Because when we're doing any kind of movement with our bodies, we're not just throwing our bodies around. We're doing it intentionally and deliberately. And we're thinking about how we're moving our bodies. So the first thing I'm going to do when I'm going to make a palm tree is I'm going to give it nice firm ground to sit on. I'm giving it roots. I'm giving it a place to grow from that's strong. And then I'm going to plant my palm tree. And now I'm going to think, if I was a palm tree, what would it smell like where I am? Would I smell the sea? Would it be salty? What would I smell? And then I'm going to think, what would I hear? I'm going to close my eyes and I'm going to listen. I hear seagulls and other birds making noise. I hear the waves crashing onto the beach. Maybe I hear music in the background. And then I'm going to think, what do I feel? I feel the sand underneath my roots. And I feel the wind slipping through the top of my tree. And I'm going to have all of this as a picture in my head. And I'm going to let my palm tree move. I'm going to imagine all of those things. And I'm going to think about what it feels like to be a palm tree as I'm moving my arm. And that's what I'm going to ask you to do today. I'm going to ask you to pick something in nature. You can look out your window and point at something if you want to. And I'm going to ask you to make that with your body. And it can look like whatever you want. So if I decide I want to be a tree, right? I can say, well, I'm a tall, firm oak tree. So I'm going to plant myself in the ground and I'm going to grow. Oh, way up tall and I'm gonna reach up towards the Sun with my whole body and feel how firmly rooted I am into the ground or maybe I'm a different kind of tree maybe I'm a palm tree but with my whole body so I'm feeling my firm roots in the ground and then I'm feeling all of my fronds reaching in the air and moving in the wind and I'm letting myself relax and hear the breeze and smell the sea just like I did when I did it with my arms. 
Or maybe I decide I want to be a willow tree. I want to be long and graceful. And I'm going to pick my foot up. And I'm going to find my center as a tree. I'm going to take a deep breath and think about what I feel and smell and hear and touch as a willow tree. Or maybe I want to be the wind. I want to be the wind. I want to be the wind in the sky. Or maybe I want to be a breeze moving through the air, moving around, whisking through the air. Or maybe I'm, oh God, oh God, I'm a gust and I'm being pushed. Oh, oh, so strong. Oh, okay. I'm being pushed so strongly back and every time I feel it, it goes whoosh and it gusts back again. Or maybe I'm a flower. I'm a flower. And I'm just a really happy flower. I don't know why. Flowers make me feel happy. If I'm imagining I'm being a flower, I always think of being a little sprightly. So my flower might look like this, or it might look like this, or maybe I decide I want to be a little flower. Beep! And I look like this. I don't know. Now, I want you to think of at least five things from nature. So, so far I have a tree. I think I like my palm tree. I'm going to keep it. So I have my palm tree. I have my gust of wind. I have my flower. Mm -hmm. What do I want to add? I think I'm going to add waves crashing into the sea. So with my arms that can look like this, or I could be a wave like this that comes up and then it crashes onto the beach. And then I think I want to end with being the moon. So I'm going to be the moon, nice, big, and round, coming up like this. And then I'm going to put all of those things together. So I'm going to be my tree, like this, and the breeze, and then I'm going to be my wind through the sun. I'm going to be my flower. I'm going to be whoosh, my waves. Oop, I'm going to be honest, I forgot what the last thing was. Oh, and I'm going to be the moon. <laughs> Alright, so let's go through that again. So I'm going to be my palm tree, and then I'm going to be my breeze, and then I'm going to be my flower, I'm going to be whoosh, my waves, and then I'm going to be the moon. And I just told a beautiful story about nature while moving my whole body. And that's my challenge for you today. I want you to create five different movements with your body that show a piece of nature. And when you do that, I want you to think, what does this smell like and feel like and sound like? And I want you to imagine you are that thing that you're creating with your body. And then I want you to put all five of them together. And then guess what? You're dancing. You don't have to put music to it. You don't have to have rhythm. You don't have to know steps. You just have to move your body in a way that matters, in a way that tells a story. Okay? And just like always, I want you to remember to take nice deep breaths. I want you to remember to use your whole body, your big range of motion, get all of those muscles moving, get all of that blood flowing. And if you finish your dance and you're pretty proud of it, please take a video of it and send it to me because I really want to see what you came up with. All right, my darlings, that's it for today. I love you all so very, very much. I am so excited to see what you come up with. And I'll see you next week. Bye. Mwah!